my goodness, if I look and see how much stuff I have to talk through, it's going to be a really speedy one. Hello, beautiful people, and welcome to my channel. I'm Lucy, and today we are talking about the skincare products I have most loved in 2019. So the best of 2019. I know it's a tag that's going around or was going around a little bit late, better late than never. If you'd like to see what I loved most of last year, stay tuned. Let's start at cleansing. So we cleanse and hands down the my favorite cleanser of all <laughs> all year round has been Oscar. Um and it's the Renaissance cleansing gel. I love this. Again, I'm late to the party. But I just love the consistency. I love, sorry, it's a bit wet and ill because it's been in the bathroom and it just melts into your skin and just, oh, smells delicious. So sensorially, it just is beautiful. Yeah, that's been my second cleanse. Something I've been loving as well has been the Bioderma. Uh, micellar water but the blue one which is for sensitive skin and dehydrated skin um, so although I'll never ever you'll never ever catch me taking my makeup off or my face off with just this and going to bed you'll never catch me doing that um, I do like it sometimes just to remove the makeup first and then I go in with my first cleanse and then I go in with my second cleanse. So this is sort of the first, first cleanse. Um, yeah, really loved that one. I usually use the pink one or is it red? Whichever way. I think I'm a bit colorblind. But yeah, I usually that's been my go-to, the pink one, the red one. But this year, Hydra Bio has been the one for me. Another cleanser that I've been loving has been the CeraVe SA Smoothing Cleanser. I will link it somewhere that should pop up now. Feel free to click and watch that video. Uh, it's for dry, dry, rough, bumpy skin. It is um from CeraVe so all the goodness from CeraVe that we've come to love and expect and I've really fallen in love with this brand but it really does work my skin was acting a full <laughs> um late summer early winter and this really has saved my skin my face really like that definitely would recommend that <laughs> and definitely have enjoyed using that throughout Maybe the last, the last, the end of last year. Moving on to treatments and after cleansing. Um, popped into Primark, is it early in the year or was it last year Alex Steiner in Primark came out with the skincare? I can't remember. But this year I tried it and so it's going to go in my, in this year, whether or not it was released this year or not. I used it this year, so therefore they're going in the 20. Well, last year, so therefore they're going 2019. This is getting very confusing. Okay, it's 2019 when I use this. And this is the Alex Steiner and Primark Pollution Solution. 60 dual texture exfoliating pads, and they have lactic acid, PHA, and mandelic. Is it mandelic? No, niacinamide. All of my favorite acids. So I will link to a video where I talked more in depth about this um, pad. They are really affordable, um, budget friendly, and they work. It's such a nice formulation. It really works. So this side is a bit rough and then this side is smooth. So you use the rough side first, then you just slough away, slough away, slough away. And then you smooth it. So basically, you just go over your face gently until the pad is dry. And then leave it for a bit to dry and soak in. And then you do your next part of the 
of the skincare. So vitamin C. I have loved the Clinique Fresh Press. Um, I was given these by as a sample. I got the one that you pump. I've run out, but I'll show you for this video's sake. I'll show you the samples. And I have loved using these. They come in a powder and it's, I mean, you could push it to two uses, but I generally use it with just one use. I pop, I pop it in my hand, a little bit of water, or if my skin is damp, my face skin is damp, then I just do circles, leave it a little bit while I wash my body. And it's vitamin C. We love vitamin C for any sort of um, hyperpigmentation, post-inflammatory reactions, but also to just brighten the skin when it gets all sallow, especially in the winter. If you see my hair, can you see? <laughs> I've been trying to take it down. So the braids are coming down finally. Um, and I started this and then I remembered I had to film. Anyway, vitamin C Clinique has been amazing. Uh, it's fresh pressed because it doesn't actually activate. Vitamin C doesn't actually activate in this formulation until you add water. So great and potent and we love that well i love that definitely going in the best of next will be the toners the toners there'll be no secret about it i have loved the fresh um deep hydration facial toner it's full of roses i think this is my yeah, it takes a while to get through it. But I have a video on Fresh. I will link it up here. I love this toner. It's so gentle. Something I am trying to continue to have gentle skincare, but effective skincare um, over the next year. And I also have loved um, this AHA. Um, and it's full of lactic acid, again, a gentle exfoliant and um, azelaic acid. So it's um, some of the more gentler AHAs known. Come on, focus. Yeah, there you go. It's by Ren. I have loved it. You can see I'm working through it. <laughs> again, it brightens, it's exfoliating so that you can um, get ready for your treatments to go into the skin more effectively. I mean, it's Ren. They don't go wrong often. <laughs> um, and I love it. I love, I love it. I fall in love with it. Oh yeah, been using that one. Firm favorite. A fresh make another appearance. And this is the essence. Um, this is the black focus, the black tea. Okay. Black Tea Kombucha Facial Treatment Essence. It is essentially a toner or a second toner or a lotion, emulsion, whichever way you want to use it. It's basically a, another layer of hydration on your face and it just is lovely. And it's an extra indulgent step that nobody needs in this world but skincare freaks. I am looking forward to trying more um essences from asia um this year and you will be seeing them whatever i try i will tell you about them but so far i love this it's really really good and a little goes a long way i know people always say that essences are a little bit steep and they are um but they are also effective at hydrating your skin okay so this is got to be a uh, classic it will always be in my arsenal my arsenal it will always be in in any sort of list for me uh it's estate loader advanced night repair recovery complex 2 i love it it's my go-to skincare treatment if my skin is acting up if my skin is tired if my skin is dehydrated if my skin is anything this. I love you. Estee Lauder <laughs> Advanced Night Repair. 
what you know what else do you want me to say it's a classic it does everything it says on the tin this year i discovered the ordinary well i didn't discover i started using the ordinary um i knew it's been around i knew um what a game changer it was in the industry a disruptor of the industry if you like but my nature is that when something is so hyped, I tend to stay back and watch it. Maybe as a YouTuber, I have to change my ways, but um, I, I hate buying things because of hype. So I like to watch things and read reviews, um, but long-term reviews sort of thing. I delved in and I delved in with a few things. I will link up a video that I did on the ordinary and the serums I am loving. This one particularly is niacinamide, my second bottle, I think. Yeah. Um, the, t the light is too much. Okay, there you go. There you go. Niacinamide and zinc. And this one is the 10% and zinc 1%. I have loved using niacinamide. And it has done wonders for my skin. It has just, yeah, I will link, I will link the video above and you can hear me harp on, on, on this. This is my love of 2019. My new love, my new crush. I hadn't ever used eye creams in my entire life. <laughs> uh, but I, you know, I'm aging. Uh, and I'm starting to see lines under there. My eyes are showing my age. And so I started using eye creams. In particular, I went with a classic because, well, the serum works so well. So I thought I'd go all out and got the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair Eye Supercharge Complex. Sounded like something I needed, supercharging. Um, and... I mean, a little goes a long way, um, but it feels really luxurious. It really plumps up your under eye. It really nourishes that area. Whereas before I was always, I always had a, like a, like an area where it's rough. Um, and I also, um, I tried another eye cream. I think it was a sample, but then I understood that around my eyes, well, generally all over my skin, I tend to get milia if I, if something is too rich for my skin. But this one, this Estee Lauder eye cream has not given me milia as much as it feels rich. It doesn't come up, my under eye area doesn't come up with milia, don't break out. Um, and so with the Clinique as well. So I, I've also, I also tried the Clinique. So these two are my, were my favorite this year. I know they're basics, um, but I will be on the lookout for other, other, um, other brands, other, you know, uh, what's on the market, other kind of formulations to see what's on the market, as well as discovering the niacinamide serums in the ordinary i discovered some oils and i tried the 100 percent plant derived squalane which i absolutely love it goes on beautifully it dries up again i will link up a video that i speak more in more detail about it um you might have seen me uh un you know, uh, what's it called? The Liberty Christmas Advent Calendar, which I will link. Um, and I got this Votary Super Seed Oil. Oh my goodness. I cannot tell you. This is obviously Super Seed Oil. I probably will do another review properly, go in depth in it. But I've only used just that much, as you can see. And it's literally a few drops on your face and oh my goodness your face you wake up like you've had 10 hours of sleep when you've only had two and it's just incredible it's an incredible oil it's knocked all the oils i have out the park i love it after my 
all my creams, all my serums, all my eye serums go on. And then I put that. I generally do that at night. So then I wake up and my skin is supple. My skin is... Mm, um, I love it. So moving along, what should we do? Moisturizers or... I mean, I feel like moisturizer is going to be a bit boring. I've not really experimented so much with moisturizers i think i just needed simple things to go on top of the treatments and the best i found well for me is the avene and this is um the skin recovery cream it is beautiful formulation is lovely it hydrates it's light it's just yeah innocuous in that it doesn't, you know, it doesn't have a big scent. It doesn't do the most, basically. It just does what it needs to do. And it's calming on the skin and it's soothing on the skin. I had a reaction to a mask. I'll link that video. above, <laughs> And I put that, when I took the mask off, I put that cream, the recovery cream on. And it just soothed my skin back to normal you know and the other one is another fresh uh another fresh product which is the youth lotus youth preserve radiant lotion not the cream the lotion because i think with my oily skin i need something a little bit lighter especially because i layer my skincare now just on the masking side i've loved the again <laughs> The fresh black tea firming of a night mask. So I put everything on, all my skincare on, and then I put the mask on and it's for sleeping. Um, I sleep with it and in the morning it's just, again, skin is beautiful. Skin is just rehydrated and just looks supple and plump and just mm, beautiful. Um, another thing I sort of, I always sort of had, but this year has been really, really reinforced is sleeping on a silk pillowcase or satin pillowcase, not just because I have Afro hair and that's something people with Afro hair do, but, um, I've never liked to tie, um, my hair up i never liked that so my mum made me some pillowcases um some satin silk pillowcases uh yeah i'm not gonna show you you know what pillowcase is it's either you get a satin one or you get a pillow a silk one if you have someone to make it for you who loves you even better um but i this year not to be sort of nitpicking and obsessive about it, but you know when you sleep on cotton sheets and you find your face like, ah, or ah, um, yeah, avoid that. <laughs> Just avoid that. Uh, it Cotton is beautiful to sleep on. And if you have, I don't know how many thread counts you want to throw on your bed, but it still absorbs all the moisture out of your skin. So I think it's a good tip to have. Keep the moisture you put in, um, in your skin, in your skin, by sleeping on something that isn't going to absorb all of it out of your skin. Now, I know I haven't given you an SPF. Um, it's just because I didn't really have a favorite as such, but I still have SPF. Um, and yeah, you can't do all that skincare and not put an SPF on. So I would like you to like, comment, tell me what your favorite ones were, uh, skin products were for 2019. And I will see you on the next one. Please like, comment, ring the bell. So you're noticed, notified. Mwah. I'll see you in the next one.